Good day and welcome to this walkthrough of Ruby 2 and Aquador 23WA. Uh, Ruby 2 was built in 2010 and she went straight to being a demo boat uh, which she stayed for for about three years. Uh, she, she properly splashed uh, in 2013. So okay she was 2010 but really she has only been on the on the water from 2013. The owner bought her in 2014 from um, another broker but uh, we only had three hours on her so basically he essentially bought her from you. Um, the owners used her take her used her for what she's supposed to be used for which is day trips. Uh, he's gone to Gosport, Portland, Isle of Wight, Yarmouth that sort of thing. Um, he's this boat comes, it's a Finnish boat, that it's made in Finland, the, the Aquador. Uh, it's renowned to be a very, very well-built boat. <clears throat> and as I take you around, you'll see why it's, it's got its reputation. Um, it's basically a large boat, but in mini size. So 23, but she's got things that you wouldn't expect to see on a, a boat this size that are standard. Um, on top of that, the owner's filled. He's he's fitted a sprung mattress in the in the uh, in the cabin below, which I'll show you. Although we don't have the spring mattress to show you on this uh, walkthrough video, he's um, had the du had special fitted duvets as well. Um, he also put in shore power and a rail blazer called a rail blazer modular table system, which is very very clever. And I'll show you a bit more of that when we get on board. He's added a low Lawrence GPS, a VHF. Um, the boat has heating um, as well as an ultrasonic anti-foul system but let's go round the boat first of all before we go on board and let's just see um, what we've got. Uh, the first thing I say is that remarkably I always I love blue hull boats but I'm always a little bit nervous um, with the blue because they often um, get a bloom on them but if you can see it look at this the beautiful beautiful condition that the owner has kept this hull in um shiny it's almost like it's 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 it looks new look at that my reflection there you can see my reflection in that in that uh video bit there that's how shiny the boat is and that's how good condition the hull is in and see her from the front this great um access here so your front access so he when he births her um he births her bow on so he can just walk off straight off here which is all rather clever um um, and lovely. Um, just another little story about where she's kept at the moment. I'm down here in Christchurch which is a lovely place to keep uh, the, uh, boats on the river. Um, it means you don't have to have you don't have such bad galvanic uh, corrosion so your anodes don't take a pounding every every year because you've got fresh water but one of the lovely things is this owner um, w w the boat is normally kept in the winter kept from November till April um, on uh, a shore and then um, during during the the summertime he keeps the boat at the bottom of his garden and if that isn't what the ultimate of boating is all about I don't know what is. So we'll just come round to the stern here now. Uh, I've got the bathing ladder down for the moment to show you what that's like but uh, and the the cover is on at the moment uh, the reason I left the cover on is because the pictures that I've taken so far that you'll see on the website are with the cover down. But a well-designed cover. He fitted the cover, had the cover, a new cover fitted, and the cover's in, as you can see, immaculate condition. Um, he really has looked after this boat and, um, and added some nice extras. He's also got um, a foldable, um, uh, foldable frame there for the for the boat so we can get under the, the the low Christchurch bridge which is very very handy as well right let's go on board the 23 WA is a, a fast cruising boat um, she'll cruise at 25 knots all day and up to 30 knots not a problem uh, she's got the WA stands for walk around and this has got one of the lovely features you'll see on this boat is the fact you can the, the lovely high walls safe 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 environment for families inside this lovely boat and you'll see down here 
on both port and starboard side decks. You've got walk-arounds, lovely safe walk-arounds, and I'll show you on here as well, on this side as well. There, walk-arounds on both sides, port and starboard. So that's a lovely feature. Um, beautiful cushions here, all in lovely condition. The owner has kept it beautifully. As you can see, the cockpit is a, a nice place to be, nice and airy place to be. And you can see the quality, I'll go on board now, and you can see the quality of the canopy. Um, if I move gradually around here, lovely, fully enclosed canopy for that sort of al fresco feeling on a warmer winter's day for when you want to be on the boat weather's good enough but you want a, a little bit of protection from the chill i've left the access canopy door open at the moment so you can see it but as i say really lovely cushion work um and uh access here um one of the things you'll see around the boat that the owners had uh installed which he really loves um you'll see these little you'll see these points here and they're all over the boat um it's a system called it's a system called um if i know it now it's called railblazer and it's a modular table system and these little tables you can click into all these places that you see them so there's a two there there's one there um, but there are others that I'll point, point you out to as we move around the, as we move around the boat. You can fit these, this table in. So wherever you have these points, these rail blazer points, you can fit these tables in. Um, so it's a lovely, uh, a, a lovely can. We'll, we'll go out on deck in a minute, but let's, let's go first of all down below and show you what's down below. So we've got down here the, uh, a paraffin burner, single burner. Uh, and the sink and then down below here you can see the the double cabin and if I come round round here uh, you'll see this cushion hides the loo and there's a loo underneath here um, as you'll see and at the loo he's had um smart water loo flush so you don't uh, encounter the normal smell problems that you can have with um, seawater flush um, what he's had done down here I haven't got it to show you but he has had he's got a special sprung mattress so you take these mattresses away and he's got actually a, a sprung mattress that you can um, have a double large double berth here uh, and sleep in comfort uh, which is not bad for, really for a day boat um, down below here then as I turn round and, and come round you'll see uh, he's got a fridge down here and uh, a nice airy double cabin area to be. If we now go back outside and we'll go out onto the deck area and I'll show you through there. So now let's have a look at our uh, on the deck and uh, this is a particularly lovely feature. Look at these lovely high walls here from for the walk around access that's on both sides. I'm taking you down the starboard side at the minute but um, this is just a, such a lovely safe environment to be and uh, this boat really does score on build quality as well. It's a lovely, good, traditional Scandinavian build quality. Do the Scandinavians build bad boats? I'm not sure they do. Uh, and this certainly uh, is up there amongst the, all of them. This is the lovely um, step through access we've got at the, the bow. And in here is the anchor locker. with um, cleat here and a cleat there for 
birthing. Um, and then you'll see this lovely canopy in place and you can see the owner what the owner's done here is he's very cleverly had the mast frame pivoting so he can take it down to go under very low bridges which is rather clever um, as we know it's it's at high tide you want to move but it's at high tide when it's most difficult to go under bridges so again the lovely access is both here on the starboard with those high walls as well as on the port so this just about finishes the walkthrough of Ruby 2 uh, she's on the market at a uh, competitive price um, the owner has uh, a reluctantly is a reluctant seller but circumstances are such that he, he has to sell her now um, he's had many years of, of enjoyment and fun on this boat and um, would prefer to uh, carry on having those many years but he's looked after this boat beautifully and uh, as I've shown you around and you've had you had a look why not book to come and see uh, see I have a viewing down here with the lockdown restrictions are now easing so why not come down to Christchurch for the day and I'll show you around her she's really a lovely boat to get into and uh, start enjoying the wide open spaces that we have in this country of ours thank you very much for listening and if you need to ever get hold of me my contact details are on the website uh, pool at ancaster.com and my phone number 07787 50 60 90 that's 07787 50 60 90 and i always answer my phone thank you